guys, welcome back to the channel. We are in Elkhart, Indiana at the Grand Design Owners Rally and we have had a blast. And we have had the pleasure of staying in the new Transcend 235BH. After spending a couple days in there, I thought it'd be a good time to kind of give you a walkthrough and review of what I think about this Transcend. And I'm not gonna give it all away, but I'll give you a hint and it's a thumbs up from us. So let's go check it out. Buckle up, Buttercup! We have been in this camper for a couple days now. I mean, it's not perfectly clean, but you know, that's life. And we wanted to be realistic about what to expect with this camper. But I will say one of my favorite things, I actually have a lot of favorite things. I really like the countertop space. You could add a stool right here if you wanted to. I think there's enough room to have some extra seating, but the amount of counter space in this kitchen is unbelievable. You could definitely prep food. We've been using it as a catch-all and for food prep. You of course have the microwave, the range, and tons of cabinet space. You also have a lot of drawer space. And we all know how much I love drawers just because it's just very convenient. You have the cabinets underneath the sink. You also have this nice and tall cabinet. And then if you go over here, you have a shoe cubby or shelving for whatever you would want to use it for. We've been using it for shoes. And then up, up here, you have your convenience center for your slides and everything like that, your TV, and then you have the nice cabinets that you get in all the transcends um, all up on top here. You also get the 12 volt powered fridge that is powered with the solar panel that comes from the factory from Green Design, which is a really nice touch because you are able to do boondocking and everything like that. Now, if we turn to this side, you have the nice dinette. This will convert into a bed. I would say you could probably fit two kids on there depending if they're younger and how tall they are. You could definitely fit two smaller kids. And then you have this bunkhouse over here and Kyla's hanging out. Uh, what was something that you were saying earlier that you really liked about this bunkhouse? It's definitely higher than our last one. And um, no. and then that curtain is, you talked about that curtain. Oh yeah, this curtain I really like because it's like a blackout curtain and it like buttons on like all these. And it's like really dark. Yeah, I that's like that. nice. I like that they decided to do that. Now this one up here is a pull down blind, but it doesn't let in a ton of sun, but it is nice to have that blackout curtain option down there. This bed, if you do want to just, you know, have more space, this bed does pop up and it would go up. Um, let me see. Just be careful with me under here. Yeah, let's let's try to do this with you under there. Can you do that? Wait, the other side? Oh, uh, it's no. just inside. Okay. Can you? Oh my gosh, I like can you, that. Hold on. Here, hold on for a second. Um, it does pop up I love it. just like that. I love it. <laughs> you love it? I'm just gonna sleep on there tonight. I'm oh. You like that? Yes. Let's check out. Can you move your blanket? We'll show them the storage space on the bottom. <laughs> Oh, wait, okay, this. let's just do this one. Oh my gosh. You have space down here. It's going to be the whole depth of the bed. You could get some cubbies and stuff where you could easily pull it out and really fit a lot in there. And there's three of them. So it's a nice little space, really. Yeah. It makes it look so much bigger in here. I know. And then if you come over here, this is the main area for the master, I guess is what you would call it. You do get the closets like you typically do in the transcends with drawer space down here. Beware, there's a bunch of stuff in there. Hanging storage, and then you have the shelving up on top. Now here, this bed underneath it is the couch. I will do my best to open this up. Kyla, you wanna take a hold of this camera? Yeah. I'm not gonna close it all the way just because we like sitting on the bed but it'll give you an idea. This pops up and then this will convert to the couch. So here's the steps to the bed and then there's the little latches right here. Um, but this is a nice couch. Does open it up, even with the bed down. I mean, we've had the bed down the entire time. I mean, we haven't even used the couch. We've had the bed like this, plenty walking space. 
one thing I really like is this really tall window. With the dinette, you do get a slide, so it does push it out. Uh, it pushes, you know, the bunkhouse out. Just makes it roomy in here. I mean, a ton of walkway space. And then we'll get to the bathroom. And the bathroom is a pretty good size. Same size shower, I would say, as most of the other transcends. You've got the skylight. It always brings in that natural light. And then, hi, here is the bathroom storage area. Got the little medicine cabinet. And then I like the shelving here. Really, you could fit a lot. You know, this is dry shampoo. Um, it's about as wide as my hand. And then you have the towel holders in here that go in pretty deep all the way down. More shelves here and then the cabinet. That's a lot of storage for the bathroom just for right here. But then you turn here and you get this really deep cabinet. And you can really put in a lot of stuff. You've got the towel hanger and then of course, you know, the sink and toilet. You do get a little bit of counter space. So I really love the setup of this one. I just like the amount of room that it offers. This one also has an outdoor kitchen. So let's go check that out. Let's open this up. Nice tall, look at that. Pops right open. You've got the fridge for your outdoor fridge. And then you have this little grill or griddle, whatever you want to call it, pulls right out. So you can be cooking outside and not necessarily dirty up your inside kitchen if you don't want to. Let's check out the pass-through storage. What are you guys doing out here? Hanging out on the golf cart? A lot of pass-through storage on the other side is where you're gonna find your control center for out here. Check it out. Just like that. This is where you hook up to water. We're obviously up to hooked up to city water. You can fill up your fresh tanks. Um, it shows the battery, battery disconnect, and then you got the outlets and stuff ready for cable if needed. Here is the slide. This is where the dinette and the bunkhouse is at. We'll go around here. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna fit through that. You get the awning. We don't have it out right now because it's a little windy. We don't wanna mess with it. You do have outlets on the outside here. So if you wanna hook something up, you're able to do so. But overall, I think this camper is super awesome. All right, it's time for a family feedback time. We're gonna start with the youngest one. Maya, what do you like best about this camper? I really like the counter space. You know, you were using the counter space. What were you doing on that earlier? Arts and crafts. She, yeah, you were doing arts and crafts. She was doing some painting because it was rainy and stormy the other mm -hmm. night. Plenty of space for them to do some painting. So that is always a good thing because sometimes you go camping and unexpected weather can dampen your plans. Well, not on us. <laughs> not for us. We were prepared. Asher, what about you? I like how there's more room for your heavy on the bunk beds here. Yeah, so... There is more space between the top of the bunks and the bunk bed. Some of them are a little bit smaller, making it a little bit more difficult for an adult to get in, even maybe these guys, but they're kind of able to sit up in that area. Same for both. I mean, they both have a substantial amount of space. Yep. And I laid in it earlier <laughs> with Kyla. We had some cuddle time and the beds are comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Kyla, what's your feedback? I like the big windows because I just like natural light and that's awesome for me. That's so. why. I do. I do like the tall window over there. It is a nice little change. Now it's time for mom's feedback. I mean, I kind of been telling you as I did the walkthrough things that I like. Of course, there's a ton of storage space. To me, you can never have enough storage space in a camper because everything could just be hidden out of sight, out of mind and organized. That's just the way I function. I do like how you're saving space with the master bed going down over the couch. You can easily lift it up, use it as a couch. It just saves some space. I like the bunkhouse, the slide itself gives us some extra space and then the counter space in the kitchen. Everything. Is, <laughs> everything. Yeah, let's just sum it up by saying <laughs> everything. Um, but we are gonna check out a couple more transcends while we're here. Now this model is new. It is a new floor plan. Um, so if you're interested in it, you'll have to call your dealer. I don't know how the stock is right now, but it is fantastic. I totally recommend you guys checking it out. Um, we do have more content ahead. 
more transcend stuff ahead so you want to be sure to like and subscribe if you want to support us so we're able to continue making content you can become a patreon member or also a youtube channel member and be sure to check out our website buckleupbuttercuptv.com we have promo codes all kinds of cool stuff on there and give us a follow on instagram and facebook and until next time guys buckle up buttercup